made it here to the job of the day. This morning we have about a hundred stumps we're gonna be knocking out. I brought with me the skid steer with the stump grinder attachment. We never really used this attachment, but I brought it with me so I could knock out all the smaller stumps. Every single one you see here, this left side here as well. This goes all the way to back there. We also have a couple on the right side there for the neighbor. It's about a hundred of them. I have to count and see exactly how much, but I remember we cut about a hundred trees here. So every single tree we cut, we have to do the stump. Spoke with the customer. We're all ready to go. Joni's already getting this ready so I can unload it. We're going to see how big of a stump I can knock out with this attachment here. But I'm mostly going to concentrate on every small one. I'm not too sure how big of a stump these things can knock out, but we'll see. I also don't want to burn this mortar out. So I'm not going to run the skid steer at full, full gas either. But we'll see. We'll see how it does. attachment a couple times so we'll see how good we could do with it but I'm only gonna use it at about half throttle maybe a little bit more just so uh, we don't blow the little mortar um, I think this is more for for something smaller I don't think it's it's really meant for these bigger skid steers but we'll see how it does I'm gonna start knocking out all these in the front here and we'll see uh, we'll see how many we can knock out today these attachments aren't that great compared to a normal stump grinder but they got it done i think the worst part is just pressing so hard down on this but we'll knock these out no problem we're going to continue on with these here and start knocking all these out think I just don't know how to even use this thing I might have to look at a video or something but I also went too deep with it so but a normal stump grinder I would have knocked that out in like less than a minute but this one it took me I don't even know how long but I'm just gonna start knocking out all these stumps here put this on time -lapse.
all right a couple things i learned from doing these stumps here so i'm pretty sure when i was doing these first ones here i was using it backwards i was supposed to come in from the other side not from from where the mud flap is um another is i figured out you could just leave the auxiliary running you don't have to keep holding the button down but what i don't know is if i'm still going too deep pretty sure i'm still going too deep but that's fine and um i don't know if uh, i'm supposed to be moving the the machine like shovel wise or moving it back and forth i'm kind of doing it like a stump grinder would but i'm not too sure i haven't watched any video on it or anything like that I'm sure people in the comments will probably probably let me know i'm sure there's a couple guys that are cringing the ones that know how to use this machine but just never really used it i'm gonna set up the camera right over here just so i could time lapse this whole process of knocking these out i'm leaving all these big ones here these are pretty big but i think i could knock these out really quick there's a couple small ones there i need to knock out and then i'll move on to this patch right here knocked out all those there i'm gonna start on these here these are pretty big but i think i got the hang of it now so i'm just gonna knock these out hopefully it doesn't take too long we'll knock these and then we'll continue down this row right here still have a bunch on that side there but let's finish this whole area right here first Finished up with all those there. Got these two here that I have to knock out. Then I'll continue down this way here. Right now we're gonna have lunch and then we'll continue with the rest of these stumps. <laughs> All 
done with lunch. You can see Berardo already started knocking his out. Joni's on the mini just picking up all the stump grinds. I'm going to continue with this area here. And then we'll continue going down this way. Not too sure what happened with the AC on this machine. It's about 100 degrees today. It used to work fine. Right now it doesn't it completely doesn't work. Uh, so it's a bit hotter in there than, than out here. But we'll knock these out no problem. Finish knocking out this whole area here. That eye goes up here. He already knocked out a good amount. He also knocked out all the ones over there. I don't know if you can see the mini. Joni's over there cleaning them up. Joni already knocked out that half over there. Cleaned that whole area up. We still have a good amount of stumps. All this along this left side of this, uh, this grass area here. Still got that whole area there. I only have a couple more left here. And then I'm going to begin on that area there. All right, we made good progress. All that's left are these right here and these on this left side here. But I was tackling these bigger ones that I left here. We still have a couple on the neighbor's side. We finished most of them. I have to run to the shop to grab a couple things of diesel. We actually brought about three gallons of diesel with us. The mini's about halfway. The stump grinder has a little bit uh, less than one fourth. The skid steer is fine. I think I have about half a tank still left. Hopefully we can knock this all out today. If not, we'll be back here tomorrow. Joni actually got stung by a couple bees behind that shed over there. There was a big old stump. He was just uh, removing the rocks so Berardo could go back there and do it. Uh, the customer said it was fine if we just swap it for an extra stump she had in the front. I might be able to get to it with the skid steer. If not, since it's behind the shed, uh, she said it's fine. She's not too worried about it. But we'll see. I might just go back there and knock it out with the, with the skid steer since I don't really have to worry about the bees. But right now I'm going to head to the shop and grab uh, another thing of diesel.
made it back here with the diesel now i'm gonna begin with these here but out of those right over there he's gonna start with the ones on the right side there you can see all the ones that are already knocked out and johnny's about to pass by with the mini start clearing this whole area up cleaning every single one hopefully we can knock this out today but i'll also finish the ones over there on the neighbor side those are all ready to go we have one behind that shed where johnny got stung on this area here there's six of them he's got one two three four five six and then we also have one on this left side by the end of the driveway that we need to knock out he'll quickly knock these out while i knock out those and then i'm gonna go back there to see if i could knock that one out either way the customer said it's fine if we just leave that one and we swap it out for the one up there which uh berardo already knocked out i'm just gonna do it just so we can knock out all these stumps leave her extra happy um then we'll start helping out johnny flying all this stuff out so we can clean everything up I'm gonna head back to the shop call it a day it actually just rained a little bit on us so it's gonna be even more humid but uh we're gonna get it done Moving on to these final three here, Berardo already finished on that right side there. He's at the end of the driveway knocking that final one. Once I finish these, I'm gonna move on to the one behind the shed. Once we're done with the stumps, we'll help Joni finish up cleaning the rest of them, and then we'll head back to the shop, call it a day. Finished up with those three over there. Berardo already knocked out that final one. He's helping Joni right now clean up. I came over to where Joni got stung by the bee. There's supposedly a bunch of bees around here somewhere. He was moving a couple of these rocks and he got stung. I think he got rid of most of the rocks. So hopefully we don't damage any of the, the teeth on the machine. I'm not even gonna risk moving any of these rocks. Hopefully a bee doesn't manage to get into the cab here. I'm actually allergic to bees. So that would be pretty bad, but uh, we're gonna see if we can knock this out without getting stung. And they actually, when they cut this, they could have gone a bit further. Not much, but still a pretty big stump, but we'll get it done. I actually see exactly where the bees are coming from. They're right over that corner there. Hopefully we don't get stung. Let's see if we can knock this out.
finished up with the stump i actually had a bunch of bees flying around the camera the whole time you could just see them and get a little bit close i don't know how well you could see them but look the whole swarm right there but i'm gonna stop playing around i'm gonna get out of here before i get stung all right i'm gonna start uh i think i'm gonna take the white truck over connect it back up to the trailer so i could get the skid steer all loaded up get that all ready to go and then i'll start helping the guys clean up actually seems like it might rain a little bit but it seems like it's just uh just passing by This was actually the one stump that Berardo was doing up here in the front by the driveway. It's probably the only one I didn't show you guys. Plus we had a couple on that other side. I don't know if I showed you guys. But we're all done for the day. We didn't finish cleaning everything up. It's already really late so we're just going to head back to the shop now. Either way it's no problem. We're not too far away. We'll be back here. I don't know if tomorrow or another day but we'll be back here. You can see we still have a bunch of cleanup left here. Still got that whole pile there to clean up as well as the ones I knocked out over there. Then we have to see what we're gonna do about the ones with the bees. And then we just have to pass the blower around this whole area, just trying to clean it up the best we can. That'll probably take a while, just trying to clean up this whole area. But for today, we're all done. We knocked out every single stump. It was about, it was a little bit more than 100 stumps that we knocked out. I have to double check and go around counting them all, but all the ones in that area there were all cleaned up. Basically all these were cleaned up. We only have a little bit more that's left uh, to clean up, but it's already really late. I'd rather not rush it so we could clean it up real nice instead of rushing it trying to get out of here. It's already past the time we usually get out anyways. Um, the guys are loading everything up. The uh, stump grinder and the mini is already loaded up, all ready to go. Like I said, we're all done for the day. We're gonna head back to the shop. Call it a day. I think the skid steer attachment did pretty good. Obviously the stump grinder was way better. You could just see how much faster uh, Berardo was getting those stumps done. But it did pretty good. It's not bad. Our smaller uh, stump grinder was actually being used today. So I mean when you really don't have anything else, you get stuff done with this one. Especially like I did uh, the spot with the bees. Knocked that out. Wasn't too difficult with this. And if you have a skid steer, like a newer skid steer with AC, honestly it'd probably be better just so you're not in the sun. But for some reason, this one used to work fine, but right now it doesn't work. Not too sure why, but another thing is I didn't even break one tooth on uh, on this attachment here. The real strong. Well, I haven't double checked it, but I was hitting these stumps a lot, like really bad because I was just getting used to using it. But the teeth look fine. Honestly, they don't even look all worn out, even after we hit a couple rocks over there. But did pretty good this is actually i think a uh an attachment for a mini or something smaller than the skid steer you read right here it says uh don't use 
a high flow hydraulic system which i'm pretty sure this is i might be wrong i'm not too sure but i know um they warned us to not put full gas on it especially with these bigger skid steers you could damage this whole cylinder thing here you can feel how hot it is especially after all those slumps today but did a good job uh, the guys already headed out we're gonna head back to the shop call it a day like i said we'll be back here another day Just made it back here to the shop. We're all done for the day. It's a real long day of just doing stumps, but we got every single one done. All that's left now is to go pick up all the mess. I just want to thank anybody who took their time out of the day to watch the video. Any questions, any comments, any tips for me, leave them down below. Catch you guys next time.